So, tell us, what problems are we facing with this new Nissan Armada 2019? Yeah, so one of the most wonderful things that can happen when you buy a brand new vehicle is it stops working. And this one has had a problem where it just doesn't want to start kind of interminently. Conveniently, once the warranty was canceled. Yeah, right after the 60,000 miles or 30,000 miles or something. Like right now. Good job, Patrol. You did it on command. <laughs> so basically, what happens is that you try to start the car, but the car actually doesn't start. So you can zoom in on my foot. I'm, I'm pressing down on the brake pedal like you're supposed to. Oh, my murder, my murder podcast. criminals who kill. These are real life. Yep. So that's the problem we've been dealing with. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, so it's apparently caused by the brake switch. Which we're going to try and take a look at today, see if it's something we can fix. Cross your fingers. So this is the brake pedal area and the brake switch should be up here somewhere. Yeah. So it's one of those plugs, either that brown one or it's like a blue one or something. So we need to figure out how to get that off. So what you see in there, huh? It's really easy. Oh, where'd that come from? So it just clicks into place and you turn it like a quarter turn and it locks in. And that's all it is. So there's two brake switches there. This is a more traditional looking one, and I'm pretty sure this isn't the problem. This looks like some kind of fancy new switch, and I guarantee you that's the problem. So let's see if we can take it apart and see if there's anything that we can fix. What do you think it might be in there? And there's got to be some contacts that are either like dirty or bent or something. Okay, so I have my assorted wiring related tools here. Um, it looks like there's some clips that hold the switch together. So we just need to pry them apart and see if we can separate it. You always want to be careful because you don't know how many little pieces are bouncing around in here. Anything suspicious? Mm -hmm. There's a tiny spring that we should try not to lose. Yeah, so this is pretty weird looking already. <laughs> Hello. So this is the part that uh, presses on the brake pedal. And goes in here like this. Have you heard of other people who have the same issue? I've seen a few posts on like forums and stuff, but not a whole lot of info on it. Everything in here looks pretty clean. Well, actually, I don't know if you can see in there, one side of this has There's like a shiny metal piece on that side. And then on this side, it looks like it might be missing. 
It's hard to tell. Are you trying to break it apart? And, uh, so these are two of the pins that go out to the plug. Oh, there goes And apart. that's exactly what you don't want to happen. <laughs> Whoops. Let's see, so you can see it more clearly here. This side looks like it might be dirty or something. That side looks pretty clean. Let me see, close up. later. Hey, is it that one? Oh, yes it is. Good job. So we're going to try and clean this with some sandpaper. See if that helps. Any particular number you think might work best? Um, I don't want to scratch it up too much. I'm going to try a thousand grit and see how it looks. You said a thousand grit? So are you filing away just that little nub? Yeah, I'm trying to like sand away the junk or whatever that's stuck on it. Mm. So you can see that's already looking a bit cleaner. Mm -hmm. and so that looks better. I really hope this works. The other obvious fix would be just to buy a new switch, but who wants to spend money? This is way more fun. Right. Do they have some for sale? Yeah, the prices that I saw was anywhere from like $40 to like $120. So the problem is that it's not a consistent problem mm. so if you take it to the dealership the entire time they have it it might not even do it you might end up one of, with one of those situations where you leave the car at the dealer and they can't fix it and you have to bring it back and then it still does it and then you have to keep taking it back and hoping that it acts up when they have it yeah this sounds like a better option if you can to save yourself time and money yeah I mean, this was super easy like that was not difficult to take apart, and it was super easy to take off of the car. Mm -hmm. Wish we would have known this earlier. So these are the two pieces I cleaned. They're not going to look as nice as the original ones because these were like polished or whatever. And this one looks like you can see the soldering mark under the metal. But it should still work as long as that layer of oxidation or whatever it was isn't in the way now so let's try to put it back together okay so we're going to put it back together now and the pieces you should have are two springs this larger diameter one smaller diameter one the plunger that contacts the brake pedal and two of these spades and this ring looking piece. So first one's gonna be the large diameter spring and there's a circular seat at the bottom of the, the switch housing where this goes. So it's gonna sit in there like that. Next is the brass ring piece, which also has a seat on the back side of it, which fits into that di larger diameter spring. Uh, the tricky part is going to be holding this without letting it fly out while you put the spades back in. And the spades are shaped differently. Uh, this one's going to be the one that goes on the right. And 
and then the opposite one goes on the opposite side. You have to have a really good memory to remember where they all go back in place. Yep. Okay, so now those two spades hold that ring piece in the center in place. Now you have the smaller diameter spring that goes through the center of the larger diameter one. And there's also a prong on the switch housing that holds this in place. And then the plunger sits on that. It goes right in the middle of the smaller spring? Yeah. And then the cover goes on top of everything. Make sure you don't have any spare parts. Yep. Just like that. Can you see? I think so. You should see me and I'm, I'm in a very awkward position. This is all for you guys. Uh, okay, so when you put these back, you want to make sure that this seats all the way against the brake pedal again. Because if you just put it in and put it in place like that, it's the switch is never going to be activated by the pedal. So you want to make sure that's in there all the way and twist it. And same with the, the other switch. See so. Just put the plugs back. I can't see anything I'm doing. That makes two of us. Two. Okay, let's plug back in. Is that it? Yep. All right, doctor, 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 doctor. Now, let's see if we did anything. It worked! It bloody worked! We did it. So the thing is that it wouldn't do it all the time. Like it would... Yeah, so that's a good sign, but... Yeah. We'll drive it around for a few days and see if that actually helped at all. Yeah. If not, we'll just order a new switch and... It it'll be similar process... ...to what we did here. Just... Instead of taking it apart, you just install it, uninstall it, put the other one back, and you'd be done. So, yeah. Ta-da! Cool. We'll definitely keep you guys updated whether it was successful or if we have to go with plan B. Here we go for another test. We drove it around a few other couple of times, um, but not every time have we recorded and all to good success. Oh, sweet. Once more. Good. All right, so it's been a few days and so far so good. Uh, looks like our little free fix worked. So hope you guys try it out. Uh, hope it helps you guys out uh, and if not uh, comment down below if you had some problems or if you need some help with it thanks guys bye